So, right now, it's final time here in Melilla. And uh, we've enjoyed a smashing Grand Prix, that's for sure. It hasn't disappointed. We've seen the championship decided, which we were fairly confident of it happening tonight. Not in those circumstances, but nonetheless, it's been done. And uh, Smarsik has shown great character and determination to make the final. He could have literally have ridden round at the back and it wouldn't have made any difference at all. But uh, he said in his interview he wanted to win the night. And uh, you wouldn't put him past doing that right now but uh, there are one or two other riders here that are trying to re-establish themselves and get their Grand Prix back on track so the lineup for the final then is Ty Wolfenden off the inside in red Bartos Smarsik out of gate number two in blue Freddie Lingwin will go from gate three in white and Matze Janowski going from the outside in the yellow helmet color big final here and as I say, Janowski, a win here, that would be timely, but it also yeah, would be very handy indeed tool. for um, uh, the other two riders in this race with uh, Matze Janowski and uh, Freddie Lindgren. I'm still trying to imagine Bartosz Smarsik riding round at the back. Not something that's uh, difficult to imagine, imagine, isn't it? Yeah, difficult to <laughs> imagine, but he could have done, but he elected not to, and uh, he won the semi final in uh, brilliant style. So, one more race to go to uh, finish round nine of this year's championship. And the gold medal is in the bag with that man, number 95. Make some noise! But Dudek there and, uh, will be disappointed not to have made the final tonight, but still a fairly good showing from the Polish rider. Here we go then, the conclusion of the night. Final time. Start Marshall is uh, happy now. Craig Ackroyd, the uh, referee. Green lights on and we're away. What a start from Smarslik. Absolutely flew away from gate number two. Turns it tight. Down the back straight. Lingwin coming on strong around the outside. Got to say that Wuffenden just trapped there, is aware of riders coming on strong. Lingren now through into second place. Is he through into the first? No, Smarzik slams the door shut. Oh, great ride from Smarzik. Did all the work on the first turn to stop the run of Ty Wuffenden, who'd made the comeback. I'll tell you what, Freddie Lingren is putting an awful lot of pressure on Bartosz Smarzik. He's uh, tempted him to ride defensively around the inside, and that's the right move. Indeed it is, but Smarzik just reacted in the nick of time. Hugging that inside line, Janowski's now moved through into third place with Woodfinden, relegated to the back. What a way to finish the night here. Clinched the World Championship before he even rode in the semi-final. And he's going to go on and win back-to-back -back Grand Prix and his third Grand Prix win of the year. Smartlick wins here in Melilla tonight, the new world champion. Now we can relax, now we can take it all in. Celebrations can begin. Congratulations to him. What a way to round the night out. Good performance for Freddie back in second place. Janowski on the rostrum again. But for that man, the night belongs to Bartosz Marslik. Yeah, the series belongs to Bartosz Marslik. Fantastic performance from him. He's done his job impeccably tonight. And what a way to round it off. Winning the Grand Prix here in Melilla. He said he wanted to. You've got to believe every word he says. Because uh, he said it. He wasn't kidding. He wasn't kidding. As I say, he didn't rest on his laurels for a moment. And that just shows you the caliber of this man. And uh, once again, it's, it's a real gauntlet. Um, uh, there's no doubt that he is going to be a force to be reckoned with for some considerable time to come. Brilliant so a night for him, of course. It doesn't get any better than that. So, um, uh, his seconds. third world title and his third Grand Prix win of the season. So all of a sudden, um, uh, he really has stamped his authority on this campaign. Smarslik wins the final nicely. Freddie Lingren riding brilliantly for second place. Janowski makes the podium here this evening in third, and Ty Wolfenden misses out and finishes in fourth place. But 14 championship points nonetheless, very handy. But all sorts of uh, presents uh, coming over here. Brilliant uh, moment for Bartosz Schmarzik with the World Championship helmet there. I like the paint job. Yeah, gold paint there all over the helmet. Brilliant stuff for him. And as I say, how far can this man go now? It really is uh, a uh, incredible moment for him. Of course, at times he wasn't at his best this, uh, this season, but he kept picking up the 12 points even when he wasn't making the finals.
But these last two rounds, he's just absolutely turned up the wick. Yes, he has. And uh, he's stamped his authority. Yeah, I think he saw uh, a certain young man like Dan Bewley starting to snap around his heels and putting in a couple of decent performances. And I think he just, just gave him that little nudge that he needed to find the best of himself. And back-to-back uh, -back Grand Prix wins. What a way to take the title with a round to go. And then, of course, in uh, Rock Club, where he dropped those points to uh, Madsen, of course, uh, that seemed to spur him on as well with 16-point lead. Yeah, but what a way to uh, end tonight. Great start, just rocketed away from gate two. Absolutely textbook. Just uh, makes the bike work perfectly from the start. Down and he just misses the apex there, has to get back to it. And uh, Ty Woofenden's got to run up the inside, but Vartos has put pay to that, just stops Ty's momentum. Lindgren puts in the challenge right around the outside. Vartos smiles it there, just looking over his right shoulder. Look, straight out to the fence entering the corner. He absolutely does not want Freddie Lindgren to be able to pull that move off the outside. Got everything covered, Smiles. He thinks so quick. Yeah, the racing brain absolutely in top gear there, that's for sure. He had all the angles covered because Lingren was pushing hard for a victory here this evening, that's for sure. But uh, he was denied by that man who uh, comes through in flying colours, that's for sure. Speedway out of the top draw here tonight and all season long for Bartosz Schmarslik. And uh, the uh, championship is his. So uh, Smarslik uh, just cruising around, just taking it all in now. And um, so uh, we'll see the uh, results of the evening for you now. 20 points to Smarslik. Lingwin back on 18. Handy points for him. Janowski likewise, as with Ty Wuffenden. Martin Vasilik missing out, but picks up 12. Lambert 11. Leon Madsen 10. Patrick Dudek on nine. Jason Doyle, eight points with a lot of work to do with one round remaining to make the top six. Might not be possible. And the remainder there you see with Dan Bewley having a disappointing night. But for that man, spotlight will be on him throughout the remainder of the evening, that's for sure. So we'll um, uh, have a look at the overall standings after nine rounds now for you. Um, Bartosz Schmarslik now pulling away out in front, a massive lead now with two consecutive wins. 148 points. Leon Madsen moving on to 118. Patrick Dudek now into third place. And Robert Lambert into uh, fourth place with Bewley back into fifth. And Frederick Lingren into sixth. Matt Zajanovsky hanging on to sixth place with uh, Freddie Lingren and Ty Wuffenden on 88 championship points. So let's get some uh, more reaction now with the reigning and uh, new World Speedway champion, Bartosz Marzlik. So your penultimate round winner is Bartosz Schmarzik. A bit of deja vu, because I'm sure I spoke to you earlier, but now also the new 2023 world champion. Has it sunk in yet? Yeah, I feel unbelievable because uh, you know what I said to you before the semi-final and uh, about today night. I'm full focus for the, this night because I really want the win and make it everything uh, before last round in Torin. Yeah, that's remarkable because you didn't have to win the final tonight. You're already world champion, but you showed true world championship, uh, world champion spirit, and went out and won and showed the boys who's boss. Oh, well, for me, so hit uh, title so a little bit different again because uh, so I'm finish uh, championship before the last rounds, and I'm happy, very happy about this. I'm, I think so a little bit more say about this after season because now I don't really know what the make it today and I must, you know, a little bit more easy and look at for the media and my friend, <laughs> friends what uh, think so about me today. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll let you celebrate, but we'll also give you the chance to say thank you to all your sponsors and fans in Polish. About, speak Polish? Yeah, speak Polish. Dziękuję bardzo wszystkim, którzy dzisiaj tu przybyliście. Byliście... Byliście naprawdę dla mnie wielkim wsparciem i każdy pytał dzisiaj o tą rundę, jak będzie, jak będzie. No nic za bardzo nie odpowiadałem, troszkę się stresowałem, aczkolwiek teraz czuję naprawdę wielką ulgę, bo od czterech lat ten wrzesień, październik jest dla mnie bardzo stresujący, bo... 
Akurat zawsze znajdowałem się w tym miejscu, co sobie wymarzyłem przez ostatnie 4 lata i walczyłem o tytuł mistrza świata, także to naprawdę nie są łatwe miesiące, ale dziękuję bardzo Wam wszystkim za wsparcie dzisiaj i będziemy więcej świętować w Toruniu. Do zobaczenia. There you go, your champion, world champion, and with it tonight, Bartosz Marzyk. Well done, mate. Enjoy the celebrations.